start out with. Now this isn't going to turn into heel work. We're going to try to turn it into place training. And I'm going to show the, this is just going to be to get a bite when she comes off. Because I know she's going to come off. Why would she not? She's never been on, I mean, she's never been on a bed like this before, right? No. So why, why would she think for any amount of time that she should be on it? I don't blame her for getting right off. I wouldn't want to go up there either. This is going to allow for me. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody meant business. Now I'm going to change. I'm going to change completely. I'm not trying to be real stern with you guys. You guys are sitting here listening to me for two hours straight. I'm not going to be a big bully to you. I'm, I'm waiting for the first person to walk out because then I'll speed it up a little bit. No. So, but when I come to this dog, I'm changing. So I'll be a different Jeremy to this dog. But what I really like is quite responsive. Like, it just started. Now, I'm going to bring her up, and place means nothing to her at all. The command, the bed, nothing. So let's see how, what she does. I would expect her to just get back off. And so it'll be my timing to correct to get her back on it. And then we're going to do it over and over and over. What do we call it? Repetition and consistency. We're going to form a habit. The habit right now is the hell it is, I'll do what I want. So let's get her up. No. 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 Now she goes, I don't want to be on there. He's going to jerk me. My timing is poor there. She was on too much for me to fix it. And she sits. She sits well, right? So, so when I say sit, boom, she sits. Now, the thing about it is, is there's got to be points where the dog makes mistakes in order to learn. Like right now, she's going, I'll just shut down. I'm here. Now, a lot of people will go, oh, she's place trained. <laughs> That's good. That's, what else? What's next? She's not place trained yet. She's figured out how to avoid getting jerked around. I'll just sit. It's a defense mechanism. So what I really want her to do is I want her to move around, but I want her to move around and not come off. So I'm going to have to get her to move. I'm just going to let her settle right now. But I'm going to have to get her to move, and as soon as she moves, she's going to go, oh, I can move, and step off. And when she does, then my correction will time to the stepping off. Not moving. She's going to move around. I'm going to ask her to move around, but I'm not going to correct that. I'm going to correct it when it comes off. She's got to make the mistake, and then I've got to be able to correct and praise it. Not bad. Very nice. You're good. You're good. Let's see if we can't. Oh, you're sweet, too. See the little licking of the lips? Chris saw that from a mile away. I always, we, we have a running joke. These guys will come up to me and they'll go, ah, 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 ah. These guys will come up to me and they'll go, Wyatt and Chris will. Because I always say, that's submission. When you, see, when you walk up and your little dog licks its lips, it's submission. I love that. And so they come up, oh, good boy, Chris. I stroke the beard. And, so, good. Tail wags. I like the confidence. You can move. And that was no problem. I didn't mind you moving. I don't, I, 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 I don't mind you moving. I want you to move. Come on, move a little bit. That's it, you're good. That's it, you're good. So she's confident. Her tail is wagging. She's super submissive. She's sweet. She's sweet. You can move. Come on, you can move. What are you talking about? Come on. You can move. Good. Move her feet a little. Ah, 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 ah. Good. Come on, you can move. Good. There. She moved with no correction. Good. That's not bad. Good. Come on. That's it. Good. Just trying to move her around a little bit. Now this is a real small bed. You can go, man. No. Good. Now she's going to get into that shutdown mode because he put it on me again. So whenever she's sitting there, now you're going to see me continue to move this around. If it's over here and I go to put correction on, look at all that lost energy. So I'm going to have this right here. So it's on, and then it's off. So that's on, off. Hit clink, clink. Clink, clink. When you hear that zip, when it comes down, there's no pressure on it right now. I, mean, I don't mind her moving around a little bit. Go ahead, move your feet. Move your feet. Come on. There. Ah, good. Good. Ah, good. 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 I'm not going to pay any attention to her. Let me grab my, let me grab my outline. I'm gonna move away from her and give her. What did I do with that outline? I'm gonna give her the ability to say, you know what? He's out of sight. He's out of reach of me right now. I can go if I want. No, you can't. So I'm, 
as much as I'm not paying attention to her, I'm paying attention to her. Is that the one I had before? Yeah. So now I've got the lead on her yet. That's part of control. Like she feels control with that right now. If that were off, I got you. Uh, that's my old one, right? Yeah, this one's good. This was the one I, I must have set this here, huh? Thanks. Yeah. It looks like the Jeremy fold, a double fold. Um, so very good, very good. That's it. That's good. I'm gonna really loosen this up. Now I can move around. Now I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. Now we're gonna keep going. So now I'm gonna ask everyone to multitask because I am paying attention. Now this is a lot. This is a whole lot. I would not recommend place training a dog for the first time in front of 20 other people in a barn with birds that are really chirping and all sorts of stuff going on. There's a dog in the background. This dog knows there's multiple dogs out there. There's a lot of stuff. Here's what I would do. At home, in my living room, no TV on, no other people at home. Put the dog on the bed and I'd sit here and I'd watch her. And I'd watch her and I'd watch her and I'd watch her. And then I'd wait for her to make the mistake, and I may even encourage it a little bit. Very good. Very good. I, what, I'm, what I like right now is her willingness to just be patient. What I want is I want her to actually move around and settle. Because right now she's telling me statue. <laughs> I'm in statue mode. He won't yell at me. He won't correct me. But So we're going to wait. And my hope is that she moves a little bit, and I'll be right here to let her know I know it. You're all right. You're good. And as soon as I think the foot's coming up, ah, ah. And she'll respond to it. I know she will. Look at her. Who wants to make me happy right now? Everything about this dog's body language says, what would you like me to do? So we're just going to wait. Now I'm going to keep going because there's other stuff I want to cover. But my, my connection to this won't fade. So Because she'll feel it if I, if I get too much into this. She'll go, nope, he's not with me anymore. I'm going to maybe not strike off, but she's going to go, I'm going to do what I want to do. And if I truly am not with her and I miss it, she's going to go, I knew it. I knew it. And then when I go, ah, 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 and she's over here four planks away, she's going to go, oh, don't step on that plank. He, he corrected me for that one. No, I corrected. I should have corrected you for the second the feet came off of here. So let's just see what this is. This is the same thing that happened. Now, Jim, how confident were you when, we, when I said we we're going to try to do a little place training with her? How confident were you outside? Not very. Not at all. Okay. I mean, not surprising. No. She's no. Surprising me. So, so when we did this, remember when we did this with Frank Tank? A little, little uh, German wire-haired pointer. So she was about a year and a half old, pointing dog. A lot of gold, a lot of zip. And so she, her mom, Melissa was her name, said. I had a tailor on place like this. Um, do me a favor, grab the tailor in her bed, bring her back. Um, we had Taylor on a bed, and Melissa said, my dog can't do that. I said, sure, she can. Why can't she? No, my dog can't do that. I said, I bet you she can. And she said, no, there's no way. And she, she's just, she's not the same as your dog. She's a lot different. She's a pointing dog. I said, bring her in. And she was scared to bring her in. She was reluctant to bring her in. I said, bring her in. So we put her in the living room, a much tighter quarters than this. And we asked Frank the Tank to do the same thing that we just asked Lily to do. And Frank the Tank did the same thing Lily did, but times 10 probably. Came off, came off, came off, came off, came off. And I said, no, 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 Put it back on, put it back on, put it back on. And so finally, Frank the Tank went like this and didn't step off. And I didn't correct. And I said, good. And looked at me, wagged his tail. And she circled around a little bit. And then she did one of these. And Melissa's jaw dropped, and I can't believe this. She could not believe it. It, was, it took a lot longer. Now, this is we're not through the woods here. As soon as this dog realizes and goes, uh, maybe I will test, because they always will. It depends on if I'm there or not to, to catch it, correct it. So I moved her over. The reason I moved her over was, well, let's add another layer to it. Another link, another link, another. Now there's a dog right next. When that dog walked in, I wish we could rewind and watch the dog walk into the room right now. Because she, she walked Jim into the room, is what she did. And then she said, what are we going to do? And what are we going to do? And the body language of her was, let's go. 
And then all of a sudden she came into my hands and she said, did the exact same thing. But I had a pretty good tool on her and I gave her a pretty sharp, enough pressure. Uh, thankfully it was about the right amount. Now my goal would be to do less and less and less and less and less and less and less pressure every single time and get the exact same results until I don't have to put the pressure on anymore. We're gonna get to all that stuff. So leadership principles. Now I think uh, connection and feel is what we're talking about. In a matter of, when I took the dog and I walked it for, I didn't cover very much ground. I've turned maybe three or four times. In a matter of that short of a distance, I feel like we had, we had some. I had a little bit of feel and a little bit of connection. We got a little bit of feel strong when I, when I finally said, you know what, I'm gonna step up. I'm gonna step up here to be the leader. And I think Lily said, okay. That's the nice part about dogs. If you show them the leader, they'll follow. If you don't, they'll become the leader. There is a difference between being firm and hard. I was firm with this dog, I wasn't hard. Dog immediately reacted. You heard it, yeah. It wasn't because it was hurt. It was because it was extremely surprised that someone like me decided to be its boss really quickly and change. I flipped this dog's life over right now. That's okay. Because it's pretty, we're gonna do this enough where the dog's gonna go, this is just the way things are. There. Good. Now. Good. That's good, girl. Very good. Now we're going to see how much praise she needs. Good. Not too much. That was more than enough. So when Jim said she's so excitable, she has so much energy, it's because she needs very little reinforcement for the right thing. That was too much. It made her get so excited she broke about, I call it boiling over. I don't want to boil the dogs over. So she, you know, I felt so excited for her when she laid down, I screwed it all up because I was too happy. My little good, plenty. That's all she needed. So now we'll let her reset, she'll do it again, and I'll, I'll mark it, and I'll put it in my head and I'll go, not so much, Jeremy, good. Very good, good, that's enough. See that little? And the tail wags, that's the indicator. No, no. Good. That's all she needs. <laughs> Sorry. You can just see it in her face. Sorry. But now she goes, that's it. That was what he doesn't want me to do. Don't put the foot off him. Pretty soon she's gonna get bored with sitting here and she go, well, I'll try for that sit again. I'll lay down, more comfortable. Wait. Timing is critical. You can't train a dog with bad timing because dogs live in the moment. If you don't correct or praise in the moment, they don't understand what they're being corrected or praised for. So the bed, elevated. The reason is, is because the second the dog steps off, it needs correction. If the dog gets off with all four feet and then you correct, I hear a lot of people that struggle with, at home with place training. And I ask them what's happening. They say, well, the dog breaks off. And then I got to go catch it throughout the house. Well, you missed it. If the dog got four feet off the bed, you missed it. If the dog gets two feet off the bed, you might have missed it. It's when the dog goes like this that you need to correct. Because this is the action. And the correction connects to the action. So if dog's on the bed and steps off and walks over to here, and then you go, ah, no, 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 no. They're going to go, whew, I shouldn't go to this spot. Whatever I'm doing in this spot is not right. Dad doesn't like it. Has no idea to go back to the idea of, oh, it's because I stepped off the bed? No, you missed it. Same with the praise. When the dog curls up and lays down, finally, which is what we want, if we wait two, three minutes and we go over to him, good dog, that's just what I wanted. They're going to go, oh, just sleep. That's all I need to do. Because that's what they were doing the moment they praised them. So all day long when we're doing things out in the field, we're reading and correcting and our timing has to be right. Praise and Praise and correction. And I talk a lot about correction because most of the time we're correcting a lot of stuff. It has to be praise too. So I think Nicole brought it up at our last workshop in the uh, survey thing. She said, I think you guys, you guys got, you got to talk more. You do it, but you don't talk about it as much. People got to understand that timing with the praise. So I'm big on letting dogs understand when they're doing something right. That doesn't mean, oh, you're so good. Praise, 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 for something they should know how to do. That means when they do something new, I give them the praise. And when they're doing something well, I can say, it can be as simple as, good. That's it, good, just to reassure it, just to confirm it. So 
Timing, timing, timing. Really important.